So to do a problem like this, um, to do a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to graph a linear inequality, the main important thing we need to look at is put it in a graphing method that we know of, that we can use. So one way that I like to uh, look at it is, if you guys remember y equals mx plus, mx plus b, is a very helpful form for us to graph out of. Because if we can put our inequality, yes, you got a question? OK. If you can put it in this form, then you can find out what the y-intercept is and what the slope is. So first of all, we look at this problem. We say, all right, it's not in that format, right? I know it's an inequality, and this one's an equation. You can just change this to an equation if you want to, but just treat it the same way. There is one little exception that's going to happen. So to put it in this form, I, de I do need to isolate, the ver isolate my variable y. So I'm going to subtract the x on both sides, and I get negative y is greater than negative x minus 2. Then the next thing I need to remember is I need to get rid of the negative 1. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. And if you guys remember, when inequalities, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, you flip the sign. So now I'm going to have y is less than positive x plus 2. Yes? Multiply or divide by a negative number. You didn't have to multiply or divide by a negative number. Watch. You could just add the 2 over there, or add the y over there, right? So then you have x is greater than negative 2 plus y. Then you could add the 2 to the other side. Right? Is y less than x plus 2? It's the same thing. It's just rewritten the other way. So then you have to flip it around again. But it's the same thing. But yes, always when you multiply or divide, um, you flip the sign. Because here, I didn't multiply or divide, but you guys can see as I solve for y on the other side, it's the same thing. So we've got to make sure you flip the sign to make the inequality true. So now we have to graph this. You're going to graph it like any other equation. So we look at it. My y-intercept is at 2. That means my graph is going to cross at 2. So you go up there and you plot it at 2. Then the next thing is you look at your slope. What is your coefficient of your uh, x? Yeah, it's 1 or 1 over 1. So you go up 1, over 1. Or you could also say down 1 to left 1. Then you need to determine, so once you have your slope, you need to determine is it a dashed or a solid line. You could use a test point, or you can just look at, since it's now less than and not less than or equal to, I have a dashed line. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do for all inequalities we need to include our shading. So to include where to shade, we need to do our test point. So we pick a test point. The best test point ever to pick is? Zero, zero. Zero, zero, unless the graph goes through zero, zero, right? So I pick zero, zero, and then I just plug it in. Zero is less than zero plus two. Zero is less than two. True or false? True. true. Since that point is true, all points below are going to be true. Wait, what do you do if if it's going through, you have to pick a new point that's not on the line. Because if it goes through it, you're just testing the line. So if the, if the line's true, then you, just, you know, then you know it's solid. If it's false, then it'd be dashed, which we already know based on the, um, based on the inequality symbol. So just pick a point off the line. That's all you got to do for your test point. So what? No, it can be anything. Just as long as it's not on the line. It can be any number you want to. You want to pick another one? Pick another test point. One, pick another, I don't care, anyone. Give me a number, give me a point. One, one. So one, one's right here, right? Let's pick one that's not the same, because you asked me about that. Let's pick one that's not the same. Well, all right, one, two. One, two is right there, right? So two is your, uh, two is your y is less than one, Wait, 1, 2 is right there, right? OK. So 2 is your y is less than 1 plus 2. So you get 3. All right, yeah, OK. So 2 is less than 3. Is that true or false? So that's true. So you shade down below. OK? Make sense? Cool? All right. So 